I'm fine. All right, that's very good. Is everybody ready for your English class? Of course. Okay. Yes, ready. So the question that I was asking you was what, repeat, what, what, what did, 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 did you, you do today? What, what, what did you do today? Right, so you can say, what did you do? I worked Teacher. from, yes, when uh, from H M. Yes. Four PM. Yes. Hello. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. I have. Hi. Yes. What is your question? When uh, when we are answered this question, mm -hmm. only uh, answered in past. That is correct. Okay. That is correct. Everybody copy the examples. Okay, everybody repeat please. What did you do today? What did you do, what what did did you do, do today? today? I worked from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I worked work from, from 8 a.m. To, to 4 p.m. I drank a coffee at 10 a.m. I drank a coffee at 10 a.m. I ate a sandwich for lunch. I ate a sandwich, ate for, lunch. A sandwich for lunch. I watched a movie. I watched a movie. I answered the phone. I answered the phone. I was in a meeting. I was, I was, I was in, in a meeting. meeting. I mm. cooked chicken. I cooked chicken. I cleaned my house. I cleaned my house. My house. Right. Please copy the examples in your notebook. Copy the examples in your notebook. In your notebook. Hola, hola. Hello. Dígame. Hello, hello. Can you no, hear me? No, no, no. Que he quedado. Ok. Estamos copiando la pregunta con las respuestas. Ok. Is everybody finished? ¿Ya terminaron? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. So, ahora vamos a practicar haciendo las preguntas y respondiéndolas. Un alumno va a hacer la pregunta y el otro alumno va a responder. Do you understand? Yes. In pairs. Y le puede agregar, si quiere, digamos que usted quiere eh, agregarle otra pregunta, también lo puede hacer. O si quiere responder otra cosa, también lo puede hacer. Estos solamente son ejemplos 
que yo les he dado. Pero obviamente ustedes pueden responder de diferente forma. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Any questions? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ready, let's go. preguntas. Entiendo que las, las cuatro líneas de abajo son las respuestas, ¿verdad? Correcto. Sí. Ok, ok, empiezo. Solo la que, tiene, you... solo la que tiene el símbolo de interrogante es pregunta. De allí todas las demás son ejemplos de respuesta. Ok. Te va a contestar con lo que nosotros hayamos hecho ahora, ¿verdad? That is correct. Ivania, good. O'clock, right? I am. Say five o'clock. Uh -huh. Ese sería I, lo primero, ¿verdad? I get up five o'clock. Uh -huh. At. El otro sería at. I, I will come at o'clock. I, I get up, I get up uh -huh. at five o'clock. Up, oh, I fat, I five at, at, at five O'clock, ok, está bien. Luego, eh, I work from... ¿Qué, qué, 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 ¿Qué hizo después? O sea, ¿qué hace después de que uno se levanta? Bueno, yo en mi caso pongo que, o sea, para mí aplicaría que I clean in my house. Ajá. O sea, limpio la casa. I clean my house. Lo ponemos acá, clean my house, I work it from, este es el I work it de, from, de, 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 Sí, pero depende de lo que usted hace, usted, cuando usted se Ajá. levanta, ¿qué es lo primero que hace? Lo primero Yo al menos hago... cuando me levanto, me pongo a hacer limpieza. <risa> Yo cuando me levanto, I clean in my house. Hace, ah, sería hacer, sí. 4 p.m. Ok. I work it from, ah, no, le pregunto, le pregunto. Espérenme, espere. Eh, o sea, la pregunta es, what do you do today? Sí, esa es la pregunta. ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Y todas las la siguientes qué son? ¿Las posibles respuestas? Sí. Ah, sí. ok. Ok. Entonces solo es prácticamente de, practic de mencionarlas. Sí, o sea, hacer la pregunta y oh, no. responder con una de esas. Por cada pregunta. Eh, no es que solo es una pregunta. Por cada respuesta, Ajá, solo es una pregunta. Ajá. Pero por cada respuesta hay que, hay que mencionar una de las preguntas o solamente una vez. No sé, si hay que mencionarla porque depende de la pregunta va a responder, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Por eso le digo, right. pero solamente es un... ¿Hola? Eso es correcto. Si usted hace la pregunta, eh, por ejemplo, What's your name? Usted va a decir, my name is. O sea, la respuesta va a ir adecuada a la pregunta. Ajá. Correct. Entonces sí le pregunto. Ajá, porque si le pregunta a usted, ¿qué hiciste ahora? No le va a decir, my name is Sandra. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Obviamente le va a decir, my name is Sandra. What's your name? My name is Sandra. O si le pregunta, where do you live? No le va a decir, my favorite color is blue. Right? Tiene que coincidir. Pero ya se nos agotó el tiempo, así que let's go.
right. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. All right, Christian Reyes. One more volunteer. Another volunteer. Christian, select somebody. Okay. Um, Patricia Nunez. Patricia Nunez. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, good evening, Patricia. Good evening. All right. Um, oh. pregunta o yo pregunto o cómo, teacher? <laughs> Eh, que pregunte primero Christian, porque él levantó la, la mano primero y usted responde Respondo. y después viceversa. Que okay. haga la pregunta okay, Patricia okay. y después Christian. Ok. Pregunto yo primero, mister. Yeah. Ok. What do you do today? Ok. I get up at uh, 5.30 a.m. I clean my house, I exercise in the morning, I took a shower, and I cook at the breakfast. I work up from a 7.30 a.m. at 5.30 p.m. And I drank a coffee at 9 a.m. And I, I, I cook it the dinner at a six thirty p.m. and finish. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Applause for Patricia. Now, Patricia, I want you to ask the questions and Christian respond. Uh, Christian, what did you do today? Um, I take a shower in the morning. I took a shower. I took, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took a shower in the morning. Uh, I breathed my teeth. I brushed my teeth. I brushed my teeth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I drive it. I drove. Motor, I drove a motorcycle to my work, and I answered the phone. Answered. Answered. Answered, answered the phone in my work. And I took a sandwich and. I take a dinner. Uh, in this case, you say, I made a sandwich. I oh, made, I made. Uh -huh. made is the verb. Oh, okay. I made a sandwich. Um, yeah. I, I eat it, I ate. I ate la cena, mi ser, ¿cómo es que se dice? Dinner. 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 Okay. I ate a, a dinner. The dinner. I ate dinner. I ate dinner. And the finish is I brush my teeth again. Very good. Applause for Christian, ladies and gentlemen. Very good, Christian. 
Now, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go ahead and look at section number 2.0. Section 2.0, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for taking, talking about places in houses and apartments. That's the objective. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las partes de las casas y los apartamentos. Guys, los voy a poner en silencio porque ahí alguien tiene una cricket. Se escucha un cricket. ¿Saben qué es un cricket? Es un chirping. El animalito. That's a cricket. Grillo, that's right, un grillo. Thank you, Patricia. So right now we're going to listen, please. Everybody take out your notebook, saque su libreta and your pen and take notes. Y toma apuntes. Are you ready? Ready. You ready. All right. Teacher. ¿Quién dijo teacher? Jonathan, este, hizo una compañera que no puede ingresar y está, estaba comentando que le mencionáramos a ver qué podría hacer. Eh, ok, dame, voy a poner el video y voy a ver cómo le apoyo. Ok. Thank you. Gracias. Bueno. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es, van a describir qué habitaciones hay en su casa. Exercise. Las preguntas Please. que vamos a con conversar son estas. What rooms are in your house? ¿Qué cuartos o habitaciones hay en tu casa? Y tú respondes así, por ejemplo. There are three bedrooms in my house. Hay tres habitaciones en mi casa. There is a kitchen in my house. Hay una cocina en mi casa. There is a living room in my house. Hay una sala en mi casa. There is a driveway in my house. Una cochera en mi casa. All right. Copie esto. Teacher, y si quisiéramos decir eh, que mi casa es solamente de una, de una planta, de un piso. Uh, puede decir, my house is one floor. 
my house is one floor. Okay. Terminaron? No, no dice. Are you finished? Is everybody finished? Finished. Yes. yes. Todos terminamos? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. La otra pregunta dice, what rooms are in houses in your country? ¿Qué habitaciones hay en casas en tu país? Y la otra sería, what rooms are in apartments in your country. ¿Cuáles cuartos hay en apartamentos en tu país? So, en este momento lo que usted va a hacer es describir dos o tres habitaciones o, o casas que usted conoce. Así como les he dado los ejemplos yo. Y después lo va a escribir aquí en el discussion forum. Así como han hecho ya las personas que ya lo hicieron. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No. ¿Alguna pregunta? Perdón, teacher. Sí, dígame, Henry. Eh, Dijo eh, que en las, la segunda pregunta era, ¿qué habitaciones hay en casa en tu país? Algo así. En casas en tu país. Correct. ¿Y la tercera? Eh, ¿Qué habitaciones hay en apartamentos en tu país? Mm, thank you. Ya, yeah, y por cada pregunta me va a dar por lo menos dos o tres ejemplos. Cada pareja puede darme los mismos ejemplos. Perfecto. Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's do it.
Hello, Ivania. Hi, Ivania. Are you guys finished? Yeah, no. Okay. Oh, to a notice. Okay. Working pairs. Ah, tiene el the kitchen, the kitchen, la cocina. Algunas, alguna si hay escalera un jardín podemos ponerle el, el yard también de yard como ese es de una planta no 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 le vamos a poner lo de escalera no ajá si solo es de una planta solo se le se deja como eh, de una planta ¿va? pero uh -huh. si tiene jardín puede ponerle el eh, que tiene el jardín Jardín. Pero dijo que solo dos, dos, dos ejemplos podíamos dar. Dos ah, ejemplos. Yeah, yeah. La cocina, qué? está la, la de la cocina. La cocina o los eh, La living rooms. Eh, los bedrooms. Podemos poner el baño porque el baño no puede faltar, vea. Le podemos poner ahí, eh, sería el... El baño sería el... There are bathrooms. Bathroom. Ajá, depende de cuántos baños tenga. Bathrooms. Uh -huh. ¿Y la segunda pregunta? ¿Cómo sería ahí? La segunda pregunta es del apartamento. Este no. es eh, los apartamentos. No, eh, eh. Ser. ¿Cómo? La segunda es sobre las, las casas del país. Ajá. Ajá, por eso. La, la what rooms are your house? Man? Le dije la, la, la primera. Después no, está what, what room are in, are in house, house in your, are your country? country? Ajá. Eh, sería cuántos o oh, qué habitaciones en, en, en tu país, algo así. En las casas de tu país, de ¿verdad? Tu país, ajá, en las casas de tu país. En las casas de nuestro país siempre tienen eh, living, rooms, living rooms, bedrooms, bedrooms, kitchen, tiene cocina, eh, bedroom, eh, que, eh, y el bathroom, ¿verdad? Bat Room, el baño, ¿qué más? Finish. Yes. Everybody finish. All right, guys, let me have two volunteers, please. Let me have two volunteers, please. Yo, Sandra. Sandra. La primera pregunta. Okay, Sandra, ¿quién era su compañero, Sandra? Eh, Marvel y Rosa. All right, Sandra, pregúntele a Marble. Marble responde. Okay. What room are in your house? Estoy permitiendo. Estoy aquí está. Um, I have uh, 
in my house to bedroom. Uh, I have kitchen. I have garden. Solamente. Okay. It, ahora Marble le hace la pregunta y Sandra Acevedo responde la pregunta. Okay. ¿Cuál era la pregunta? Ya se me fue. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in What your house? In your house. The, there are four bedrooms in my house. There is a kitchen in my house. And there is a dry way in my house. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I hope that everybody finished the activity. If you are not finished the activity, that is okay. That's going to be your homework. Okay, si ya terminaron, excelente. Si no, le va a quedar de tarea. Okay. That's right. Let's move forward. We're looking at section 2.2, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to respond to yes, no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final, yeah, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo responder a preguntas con respuesta corta, sí y no, en presente simple. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación sobre un apartamento, lo cual ilustra cómo este tema es usado en un escenario de la vida real. The topic is simple present short answers and conversation my new apartment hi everyone in this class you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present additionally you'll practice a conversation about an apartment which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, 
she and it does or doesn't. Yes. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be posited by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, he does or negative by saying, no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. Okay, now for this activity, what I would like for everybody to do is you're going to give me some examples. First example, do you live in a house or apartment? Do you live in a house or an apartment? I live in a house. Very good. Do the bedrooms have windows? Do the bedrooms have windows? Do you like hamburgers? Do you exercise? Do you live with your parents? All right, estos son unos ejemplos. Obviamente ustedes van a poner más. Repeat, please. Do you live in a house? Do you live? Do you live, do you live, do you in, live a in a house, house or, apartment? or apartment? Or apartment. Okay. ¿Y usted qué va a responder? Do you live in a house or apartment? ¿Qué va a responder? I live in a house. I live in a house. Correct. La otra. Do the bedrooms have windows? Do the bed yes. 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 Yes, they do. They, they do. Oh, uh, do. No. no, they don't. No, they don't. Don't. Okay. Ahora, do you like hamburgers? Yes, I like. Yes, I like. No, yes, I do. I do. Yes, I do. Or no, no, I don't. I don't. All right. Do you exercise? Yes, I do, or? No, I don't. No, no, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. Do you live with your parents? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Teacher, uh, we can answer, yes, I live, or no. No. Por eso um, son pre uh, respuestas cortas. No, okay. I don't. All right. Copen los ejemplos. Copen los ejemplos. Bueno, se los voy a compartir en el chat. Ahí está. 
All right. Ahora lo que quiero que hagamos es preguntar y responder. Un alumno va a preguntar y el otro va a responder. Any questions? No. Eh, eh, yo sí, teacher. Yes. Por ejemplo, cuando, en el caso que o sea, le pregunten, do you like pizza, por ejemplo? Ajá. Pero si no me gusta, pero, o sea, no es que sí me guste ni tampoco, o sea, así cuando vos, entre sí y no, ¿cómo sería una respuesta así? O sea, más o menos. Algo uh, así. Más o menos, more or less. More or less. More okay. or less. Ahí se la voy a mandar en el chat. More or less. Okay. More or less. All right. Is everybody ready? Ready. Ready. Okay. Let's practice. We're going to practice for five minutes. Ready? Let's go. Hello, Marvel. Hello, Christian. Hello, Marvel. Hello, Jimmy. How are you? Hey, what's up, bro? Right here. <laughs> Relaxing, enjoying. Making money. <laughs> Making money. <laughs> Easy money, brother. Easy money. En la oficina está. Sí. Hey, no, no, no pudo entrar la, la chava, Mabel. Ah, ¿Qué le pasó? Es problema de, de su dispositivo de conexión porque no la deja entrar. Oh, that's weird. Tal vez es muy, tal vez es muy básico el teléfono. No aguanta la plataforma. A ver. Yo traté de ayudarle, pero igual no puedo estar ahí. Yeah. Todo el... La Porque no está en la casa, dice. ¿Ah? No está en la casa, entces como que anda en la calle, yo le digo, porque ah, ya faltan 15 minutos, que ah, se perdió la clase, ni modo, que mañana se conecte y que trate de actualizar la aplicación, quizás eso es. Ajá, hay que mirar el video, porque de todos modos, ahí va a estar la clase en el video. Uh -huh. right, voy a ver qué, es, qué están haciendo. I'll talk to you later. No, pues. Dale, dale, I, I live in a... dale, dale, don, dale, <laughs> los canales, dale, 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 don, dale, dale, <laughs> teacher, yo oh. había hecho unas, pero no sé si, vaya, por ejemplo, había puesto do, do, ¿cómo se dice? El de dos, dos, así, does, does. 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 Does the apartment has a yard? Does the apartment have a yard? How? Does. No es has. No, it's have. Porque Does. si si estamos hablando de un patio de Ah, sí. porque porque estamos hablando de tercer persona singular. Ah. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, ¿tiene aire acondicionado tu carro? Does your car have air conditioning? Oh. Right. Y si estás preguntando si tu, pa, su, si tu casa oh, tiene okay. patio, does uh -huh. your house have a patio? Uh, la, porque había puesto otra. Is, does the bedroom? Así se dice. Does the bedroom? Have a door. Have a door, correct. Sí. Yes. Es que eso es lo que me confunde cuando es como, vaya, por ejemplo, esa que le dije del patio. Uh -huh. esa, esa me confundía. Y la otra es, does the apartment has a bathroom? ¿Por qué has? 
por lo mismo del patio. No. Entonces, have. Ajá, have. Oh. Does, porque el, el tercer persona singular lo estás reflejando en el auxiliar. Does. Cuando es primer persona, tú dices, do. Do you. Do you like. Do you want. Do you need. Pero si ya te estoy hablando de ella o él, does he. Does she. Ya estoy hablando en tercer persona singular. Ya no tendría que agregarle otra vez, otro auxiliar, porque ya estoy usando el do y el das, digamos, ¿verdad? That's right. Ah, bye. Entonces aquí sería have también. Does the bedroom have closet? Does the bedroom have a closet? Correct. Have a closet or have closet? Have a closet. Vaya. Esas son las que yo había hecho. Pero están bien, entonces así. That is Vaya. correct. Está bien. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back. Nothing to it but to do it. Uh, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Dos voluntarios. Hi, teacher. Yo, Yo teacher. ¿Quién? Okay, Alba, ¿y quién más? Rosa. Rosa, okay. Alba hace la pregunta, Rosa responde. Y después, vice versa. Uh -huh. okay. Do you live in a house or an apartment? I live a house. A house. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, I do. Do you like hamburgers? Uh, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> do you exercise? I love hamburgers. Yes, I do. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, do you live with your parents? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, my husband, I I live, my husband, my son, my daughters. Okay. Ahora le, le pregunto yo, do you live in a house or apartment? That's right. I live in a house. Okay. Do, do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, yes they do. Uh, do you like hamburgers? No, I don't. Do you exercise? Yes, I do. Do you like wipe your parents? Yes, I do. Okay. Some Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Eh, si ya terminaron, very good. Si no han terminado, le va a quedar de tarea. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to look at the next section. 2.4. Instructions. Complete the conversations. Select the option that Complete the two blank fields in each sentence or question. Instrucciones. Complete la conversación. Seleccione la opción que completa las, los dos campos en blanco en cada oración o pregunta. For example, Linda, you, in an apartment. ¿Cuál sería? Do. Do. Does you live? Pero me estoy escuchando. Does you live y do you live? ¿Cuál es? Does you live? Do you live? Do you? Do you? Do you live? Do you? Do you? Ajá. Do you? Vaya, es do you lives o do you live? Do you live? Do you live? Do you live? Live. That's right. Do you live? Esta. Uh -huh. Ok, van a ser las demás en parejas y después las vamos a chequear todos juntos. Okay. Are you ready? 
Ready. Ready. Is, I ready. said, are yeah. you ready? Is everybody ready? Ready. 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 <laughs> okay. Tienen, bueno, les voy a dar cinco minutos y de ahí lo chequeamos en, en grupo. Okay. 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 Uy, que andaba el gato ahí haciéndome. <risa> <risa> sí. All right. Let's go. Uh-huh. No, I don't. I live in a house. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Is Linda um, does in uh -huh. her own yard. Sí, exactly. Uh -huh. The third is yes, it does. Mm, sí. The yes, next one. Does. Uh, the sound nice do you uh, the sound nice do you live alone do you live alone mm -hmm. the next no i don't i live with my family okay El, the sound nice do you have any brothers or sisters Mm -hmm. The next one, yes, I do. I have four sisters. Okay. Next, uh, really, does your house have many bedrooms? Mm -hmm. The next one is, yes, it does. It has four. Yes. Um, no, tres. Do you have your own bedroom? Mm -hmm. And the last one, yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Very good. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Yo creo que ya estamos. ¿Por qué sección va? Eh, ¿Cómo por qué sección? Ajá, porque... Sí, porque... All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back. Now, what I would like for us to do is we're going to be looking at the check. The first one uh, was, do Chris know I? Don't. 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 I live I in a house. I live in a house. Linda. Does, does, do does it? Do have does it have a yard? Yes, it does. does. That sounds nice. Do you live? Do you live alone? Do you live? Do you live alone? No, I. I don't. I don't. I live. I, I live, live with, with my, my family. family. That sounds nice. Do you have any 
brothers yes. or sisters? Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I. I do. I have. I have four, four sisters. I have four sisters. Really? Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it. It does. Yes. It has, it has, it has four. four. Linda. Do, do you, you have your own, own bedroom? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. do. Yes, I do. do. All right. Okay. Good job, Luke. ladies and gentlemen. All good. It's ready. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Oh. All right. Well, guys, continue on the next activity, and we see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.